Welcome back. In this teaching video, I'm looking at Ed Excel A Level Maths Pure Maths Paper 2, Mock Set 3, Question 12. Here is question 12. Given that y is equal a to the power x, where a is a positive constant, part a prove that dy over dx is equal a to the power x ln a. Please pause the video, have a go at part a. Once you've got your complete solution, then play the video. Okay, so let's have a look at how to do part a. Ladies and gents, we need to start off with y equal a to the power x. The next step is to apply ln on both sides. Once you've done this, we've got ln y is equal. We can bring down the power x using the power rule for logs. So we're going to apply the power rule. So I've got x ln a. In other words, I've got ln y equal ln a, which is a constant multiplied by x. Now over here we have an implicit equation because y is not the subject and x is not the subject. So to differentiate this we need to use implicit differentiation. I can apply d over dx on both sides. So if I differentiate ln y with respect to x I get 1 over y and because I'm differentiating with respect to x, I must stick in dy over dx. Equal. Differentiating this with respect to x will just be ln a. Because if you add 2x and you differentiate 2x with respect to x, it's just 2. If you've got ln a, x, and you differentiate this with respect to x, it is just ln a. Okay, so now I can make dy over dx the subject. So ladies and gents, I've got dy over dx is equal y ln a. But I know that y is equal a to the power x. Therefore, my dy over dx is precisely a to the power x ln a. End of proof. So in part b it says, hence show that the integral from 1 to 2 of 4 to the power x dx is equal k multiplied by ln2 in bracket to the power n. Pause the video, have a go at this question. Once you've got your complete solution, then play the video. Let's have a look at the solution to part b. Now ladies and gents, in part b it clearly says the word hence. This means that we have to refer back to our answer in part a. That is, if y is equal a to the power x, then dy over dx is equal a to the power x ln a. So from part a, we have that if y is equal a to the power x, then dy over dx is equal a to the power x ln a. Now going from dy over dx back to y is called the process of integration. So the integral of a to the power x ln a, in other words, the integral of ln a, a to the power x with respect to x, is precisely my y, which is a to the power x plus c. Now I'm going to use this integral to formulate the integral of a to the power x with respect to x. Now a to the power x is the same as writing one lots of a to the power x. I want to adjust the constant, so I want to go from ln a to a1. So going from ln a to a1 requires me to divide by ln a. So if the integral of this is this, the integral of this has to be a to the power x divide by ln a plus c, the constant of integration. Now I can use this rule to integrate 4 to the power x with respect to x taking the limits 1 to 2. So the integral of 4 to the power x with respect to x from 1 to 2, ladies and gents, this is going to be 4 to the power x over ln 4. Square bracket, lower limit 1, upper limit 2. I can replace the x with the upper limit, so I've got 4 squared over ln 4. Take away, replace the x with the lower limit, 4 to the power 1 over ln 4. I want to rewrite this in this particular form. Right, so what we have over here is that 4 squared is 16 over ln 4 minus 4 to the power 1 is 4 over ln 4. We can combine the fractions. 
16 take away 4 is 12 over ln 4. Okay, so what I can do is I can bring the ln 4 up, but in bracket, I'm going to have a power minus 1 on the outside. Now, 4 is the same as 2 squared. So I've got 12 ln 2 squared. This in bracket to the power minus 1. So over here, what we can do is use the power rule for logs to bring down the power 2. So I've got 12 open bracket 2 ln 2 close bracket to the power minus 1. Okay, so now what I can do is take 2, raise it to the power minus 1. So 12 multiplied by 2 to the power minus 1. And then take ln 2, raise it to the power minus 1. Now 2 to the power minus 1 is simply 1 over 2. 12 times 1 over 2, ladies and gents, is just going to be 6. ln 2 in brackets to the power minus 1. And that is the desired form. It is this form over here. So therefore, the k is equal 6 and the n is equal minus 1. This completes question 12 of Pure Maths Paper 2, Mock Set 3. If you found this teaching video useful, please don't forget to subscribe, leave a like, leave a comment, turn on your notification bell so that you receive notifications every time I post a new teaching video.